Hi guys, just an overview of some of the materials that I've emailed you about. Here's the Strathmore watercolor paper and a paper palette. It has kind of a waxy surface. This will be great for all the mediums we'll be working in and you just tear it off and throw it away when you're done. Some of the brushes that we talked about for watercolor. Um, at least one bristly kind of brush so you can scrub out dried watercolor. Makes for kind of an interesting um, look and technique. I've got salt and a good low tack tape. There's sandpaper, water bottle. You want to have at least two jars of water. Keep one is relatively clean. Use water a lot in watercolor. There's a cotton rag. I already have my paper taped down. And there is my traveling palette. These are student grade Van Gogh watercolors that I left at school. So I don't have any tubes to show you, but these are my Windsor Newton tubes. Got a few out just to show you. Um, here is a 20 by 30 sheet of Fabriano watercolor that I use professionally. You can see a little watermark right there. And it has a relatively similar, this is cold press, has a similar uh, grain to it. What's missing that I cannot find, and I think I left it at school, is a liquid masket and some sponges, natural sponges. Those are kind of fun for, um, you know, painting with. Also something to score the paper with while you're painting. Um, sometimes I just use my fingernail, but anything that's relatively sharp but not going to rip the paper would be good. And I think that'll do it for about right now.